YouTube channel, you ask? On my channel, I spread good vibes. I have nature videos and I have dogs. I am down to earth and just check out my other videos and you'll see what else I do. I want to inspire people to be themselves and to just spread good vibes because negativity has no room for anybody. There is no room in anybody's heart for negativity and drama. So if you thrive on drama, change your ways because it's pointless. It causes stress, unnecessary stress. And being a troll on the internet causes people to commit suicide. Do you really want to be the reason why somebody commits suicide? Don't be a troll. I have one person that hits the dislike button on my videos. You know what? I'm sorry for you because that means you have hatred in your heart or you're jealous of me. So I'm not going to pay much attention to that. So you would like to know how to grow your YouTube channel. Well, it takes a lot of dedication and work. And subscribing to channels that you may not be so interested in. It's called Sub for Sub. Well, I'll tell you right now, Sub for Sub does not work. People take their subscriptions back when they have your subscription. You want those returning subscribers. You want subscribers to keep coming back. Because when someone's just sitting there as a subscriber, you do need those 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. But if people are not watching your content, then they're not worth their subscription. It does not work because people don't actually subscribe to you to watch your content and support your channel. They only connect to you because they want your subscription and then you'll probably never see them again. It doesn't work because even though you may go and watch other people's channels, they may not come back and subscribe to you or leave comments on your wall. So if you're doing a sub for sub, make sure you actually want to watch the people's content. Because when you're just going on for the subscription, that's one person times however many subscriptions you have that are not going to come back. So you want to make sure that you're going to actually have subscribers that watch your videos. So it may take some time to grow organically, but you want those organic subscribers. I have five plus years of experience of being a content creator. I started off doing reviews and as of 2020, I really started to grow my channel. I went from 19 subscribers and now I have 1,834. It goes up and down. YouTube takes subscriptions away. And it's not because you're not doing it the right way. It's because YouTube doesn't want the sub for sub. They have every right to take whoever they want away from your channel. So to hear rumors about why YouTube does what they do, you have to think about it as this. They're paying you for your content. So if all you have is silent live streams or you try to not put content out there and it's just silent, they're not going to count your channel. You're not going to get monetized. You have to actually have content. After you're monetized, what are you going to do with your channel? Are you going to continue to do silent live streams? Just think about it. Why are you doing a YouTube channel? Is it for the money? Because I'm sure you're not going to make that much money on YouTube if you don't have subscribers that keep coming back. And you want those return subscribers. You want them to watch your content. It doesn't help to have a subscription and then nobody come back to your channel, you know what I mean?
I want to make sure I put facts on my YouTube channel. So I make sure I do research before I put anything on my channel. So what really grinds my gears about some YouTubers, they try to say this is what is and this is what isn't. Well, you have to actually have experience and know what you're talking about before you go on and start telling people, oh, well, you can't put links in a chat, you can't do this, you can't do that. Do you really know what you can and can't do? So some people claim that they read the community guidelines and everything. It says nothing about putting numbers in the chat. It says everything about not spamming the chat. You may want to do your own research to know what exactly you can say in a live stream and what you can't say. Because there's way too many rumors that go around YouTube. That's exactly what it is, is rumors. You can put numbers in live chats. You can put the word subscribe. But when they get banned, it's because somebody went into their restriction list and put words in there. And that's why they get restricted from the live chat. I've never had any of my videos taken down. I use numbers. I use all caps. I use emojis. I would stick to two or three emojis because when you obsessively put emojis, it looks like spam. That's the thing that YouTube doesn't like is spam comments. So it's the same thing over and over again. So if you think about it, when somebody says hi or hello, that can even be considered spam. But you want to say hi or hello to everybody. So you have to do your own research and you have to know what's actually able to be said. You can go by what other people say because they have experience, but that's exactly what I do. I go by my experience on what I have on YouTube. So I'm sorry if it seemed like I was ranting. I'd rather know facts than just people's opinions. So I am very adamant at actually spreading the truth. Thank you so much for tuning into PurpleTube and I hope everybody has a great day. Peace out.